Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You, I'm Nikki Pratt. I needed to um, do this video, it's been pressing on me all weekend to warn about this, um, so I'm just going to be obedient and do so. Um, it's spring now for about, what, four days, I don't know, I, I, I don't keep up with that kind of stuff, but it's spring, the weather is changing. Well, actually, it, it actually been feeling kind of like summer, if you ask me. It's, it's just been hot. It's, it's, it was 86 degrees here, so that's, that's typically summer weather. Um, we've been having a lot of strange weather, but the point I'm doing this video, the message I want to get out, especially to parents, um, a lot of you have kids that are in school, it's spring break, there are going to be people that are going to be taking kids to school or daycare that normally don't do so, unless I say daycare, not school, because most kids are in spring break and some not. But uh, the message that I want to send to the parents, there is an uptick in the spirit, okay? I read to you uh, Jeremiah chapter 9, and it speaks about um, death going up about the windows. Uh, basically, if you're not covered by the blood of Jesus, you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Basically, this situation is just like in the, in the Old Testament where the uh, spirit of death was being passed over, and um, it hit the, the firstborn. Everybody knew about that story uh, of all who didn't have their doorposts covered by the blood of Jesus, correct? Right. Well, listen. What is it? Um, is it John 10.10? 10, 10? 10, 10, we've been seeing a lot on the clock. 9 11, we've been seeing a lot on the clock. Um, and 10 10, John 10 10, I think it is, basically says, what is it, Romans 10 10? No, John 10 10. Says that uh, Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy, right? But we know that our Lord and Savior came that we may have life and life more abundantly. Um, you got to believe in it. You got to accept your Lord and Savior, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you haven't, do so. Look in my description box. Um, if you you never accepted Jesus Christ, you need to do so. This is the message. Pay attention. The enemy is throwing a lot of distractions. There are a lot of people that do Facebook, Instagram, text messaging, things of that nature while driving, and it's just a lot of distractions. Uh, reality TV shows, um, I don't, anything that the enemy basically will throw at you in this hour, he will. So when you're taking your child to school, or daycare, especially daycare moms, and you normally, if you're, if you're the parent who normally don't, make it a point. I don't care what type of system you come up with, but make it a point to check the back seat of your car to make sure you have taken that baby out of the car and taken them to the daycare or whomever is going to babysit. Because we find a lot of times that during these, these hot seasons, the, the, the temperature is, is getting hotter. We find a lot of people, it's 444, a lot of people leave um, their kids in the car. And for whatever reason, rushing or whatever, but I'm telling you, it's a definitely an uptick. 
Satan knows that he has but a short time, and he's trying to take as many as he can with him. He's trying to hurt the parents to the core by taking the children. And if he can keep you distracted, be not ignorant of Satan's devices. If he can keep you distracted, he will do just that. Okay? Facebook, text texting and all that is not important. Wait till you pull your car over. I've been hearing a lot of stories of that there was a, a parent while her boyfriend was in the car, she's text messaging, you know, text messaging and her two year old and one year old in the back seat. The two year old shoots the one year old, kills her. She's in the front seat while all this is going on. Hear me now. So Make sure that when you drop your babies off, it was five foot five. Make sure that when you drop your, your babies off, you pay attention to the back seat. Look at the back seat. I don't I don't know where you put your baby. In the front seat, or hopefully not in the front seat, but in the back seat. Check the back seat, do a sweep around the car, make sure you drop that baby off, okay? Um I just wanted to tell you guys that little tidbit. And um Make sure you stay vigilant and alert. Pray, 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 pray. The Bible says pray without ceasing. And I know sometimes it feels like you get a little weary. I'm, I'm to any little second you can. Um, I, uh, also, my girls showed me a story where this kind of stuff that I'm about to share with you is not even making the news. You hear more talk about Trump and um, his calls being tapped than you do what needs to be told. So when you're hearing stories like somebody's, I uh, mentioned this last video, somebody's been shot. If you hear that they've been shot and they're not dead, believer, you should be praying. That's your job. You should be praying that they will be okay. Bind that uh, premature death spirit and pray for their safety and their uh, speedy, fast recover and their healing. Okay? That's your job. But what I want to share with you is there is a story about there was 25 women missing in the D.C. area. These women are African-American black women missing in the D.C. Washington area, okay? But there is a total of 64,000 black women missing. 64,000 black women missing. That wasn't reported on the news. My girls found that out by social media. Wow. So there's a lot to pray about. When you don't know what to pray, like I said before, look at your local news. When you see things in the play like uh, mass shootings that's going on and they haven't caught the gunman, pray that that gunman gets caught. Pray that these kind of things won't happen. Um, okay? So, anyway, that's what I'm going to share with you. Um, I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.